If your church isn't growing, it probably needs a tune-up. Here are 287 ways you can make your church a healthier place. Number 33, conflict aversion. I was physically abused as a child. 40 some odd years later, I still struggle with the effects of that abuse, especially when it comes to conflict. Conflict around me, conflict directed at me, any kind of conflict can trigger that five-year-old still inside me who is terrified of being beaten by his father. What I'm saying is that part of me is averse to conflict. Part of me wants to flee it, ignore it, smooth it over, endure it, whatever I have to do to protect that scared little kid in me. But here's the thing. If we don't uh, address conflict in our churches openly, directly, courageously, if instead we try to ignore conflict or gloss over it, we simply invite more conflict into our churches. That's not good for anyone. You can learn how to address conflict, and I believe in you. Stay tuned for more tips on making your congregation a healthier and happier place.